Hello, beautiful souls. This is Isis. So I was thinking about what a beautiful time it is to be alive in the realm of humanity. We have now left the time of the Pisces and the era of fear. We are entering the era of the Aquarius. How long do these eras exist? Some of you are well aware and others may be completely oblivious. Around 2000, on the average 2,500, 2,700 years, um, that was how they had calculated the Mayan calendar and why 2012 was a big time via the Mayan calendar era. Now we have entered into the beautiful era of Aquarius. Research Aquarius. Aquarian era and energies. What does it mean? Because you are just at the beginnings. And I mean the very, very beginnings of it. Almost at a cusp. So the time of Aquarius is a time of remembering who you truly are and your reason for coming back to the planet Earth. The time of Aquarius is the time for beautifying your soul. And that was the reason that you have been given this gift of life. Your infinite spirit wanted to have a temporary human experience in this time, because this time will advance you in the next life. Please research a little more on these topics. Um, in various locations, I will write below. There is a book, it's called The Four Agreements. You may have read this book. I hope that most of my readers have. Uh, most of my viewers have read this book, sorry. So in The Four Agreements, the first agreement is, be impeccable with your word. This means speak and utter what is truth. And in time of Aquarius, everything is in quick or in rapid manifestation. Therefore, when you speak it, believe it, emit the emotion of which you wish. As I had previously informed you, if you are surrounded by what you wish not, then you are not emitting the emotion of which you claim to wish, but you are emitting the emotion of the childhood traumas. And the universe takes that as you have tuned in to trauma and you enjoy it. The universe is not a malice method of giving and taking, but rather it is a giver of that which you love. So emit what you love and try to do so from your heart chakra in order to get into tune with what you wish and in tune with that vibration field within the universe you will need to first and foremost begin doing meditations. As you can see around me, I am in a field of cornfield and thank the Heavenly Father that there is no snake amongst me because I'm not from this area. Um, I'm quite familiar with the reptiles which could be crawling about and I'm not quite interested in that. However, this is a beautiful place and a wonderful location for meditation. Listen. You hear the birds and the little crickets, which are nearby. I hope so. So take the time for self and try to come into tune with the energy fields of which you desire to be surrounded by. I will discuss more on the soul contract and the four agreements in our next episode. Wishing you all a beautiful day.